The following question reads that a pipe closed at one end has a loudspeaker at the open end. Uh, so there's a pipe that is closed over here and there's a loudspeaker at the other end and the distance uh, of the pipe is 0 0.85 meters. Stationary sound wave is formed in the air within the pipe with an anti-node at the open end of the pipe. So there is going to be an anti-node over here. So a stationary wave is set up in the pipe. Now the question is that the length of the pipe is 0.85 meter. The speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. Which frequency of sound from the loudspeaker would not produce a stationary wave? Now for a stationary wave uh, to form, there should be an anti-node, uh, sorry, a node formed at the end of the pipe. Which basically means that if you had a wave that was traveling and this would be its original path in green. So this is the trough going over here and then uh, forming a crest. Now the pipe ends, which means this part over here, the wave is going to get reflected back. So uh, particles over here would have maximum vibration. They would be moving up and down. Uh, there's going to be tr uh, there's going to be a crest, and then when the wave uh, comes back, a trough would be formed over here. So the particles would be vibrating very very vigorously over here, and the particles would not be vibrating at this point. So this is this point over here is going to be your node. Here I have picked a, picked an actual wave, and what I'm going to show is that our wave was starting at this point. This is the point where it hits the hits the pipe over here. So this is the node. This is the point where which is not going to vibrate a lot. Uh, this is going to be your node, and then it's going to get reflected back. So it's going to get reflected back, and it's going to reach this point. So this is the point where where the anti node would be formed. And this wave is going to get reflected back. So crest hits the node and goes back and forms the uh, forms the other forms the anti node. So there's going to be an anti node over here. Uh, so this wavelength over here. Uh, so we we basically dealing with this. This is going to be equal to lambda by four. So this would be equal to lambda by four. Uh, this is the point you started off here at your peak. There's an anti node. So there's maximum vibration over here and then it hits the node. So this is the node over here and then it comes back again. So this wave, instead of going forward, it ref gets reflected back. So if it gets reflected back, uh, so this is the part that we are dealing with. So we are dealing with this part over here and this would be lambda by four. This is complete one lambda, one wavelength and this is going to be lambda by four. So, you, so you're going to have an antinode over here if 0.85 meters is equal to lambda by 4. Now another st stationary wave pattern that could be created would be uh, created by a wave uh, that has a different wavelength. It travels uh, uh, 3 uh, three by 4 lambda. So uh, there's an antinode over here. This is the part where it's bouncing. Uh, you can have, uh, have a look over here. The wave travels, goes to the other side and then it hits the wall and then it travels back again and comes back. So another standing wave pattern could be it travels all the way and comes back. So in that case, uh, this distance over here, this 0.85 meter would be equal to, it would be equal to three by four lambdas. So you can pretty much guess uh, uh, how many wavelengths can fit over here to create a stationary wave that has an anti-node over here. So that's lambda by four. Or it could be three by four lambda, so there's a difference of lambda by uh, lambda by two. So any uh, wave having a difference of lambda by two, you can keep on adding more waves. Waves having shorter wavelengths, and uh, they would be creating stationary wave patterns inside over here in this tube over here. So I've written the entire series. Uh, the different uh, waves having different uh, wavelengths uh, that can fit over here. 0.85 meters. Uh, that could be equal to lambda by four. It could also be equal to 3 lambda by 4, it could be equal to 5 lambda by 4. So any uh, uh, a difference of lambda by 2 can fit in this particular tube. So I found uh, lambda for the first wavelength uh, that had lambda by 4 uh, waves fitting over here in 0.85 meters. So I made that equal to that and I was able to find lambda which came out to be equal to 3.4 meters. 
Uh, the other wave I took that would create a stationary pattern over here had uh, three by four lambdas, uh, three quarters of a wave uh, that would hit the pipe at the other end and then co come back again, create an anti node over here. So that would be equal to 0.85 meters as well. Now, using this lambda over here that I found, uh, there's uh, uh, the velocity of the wave is also given. So we can use V is equal to lambda f and we can figure out the frequency of the wave uh, which is going to come out to be frequency would be equal to velocity 340 meters per second divided by 3.4 uh, meters which is uh, which is the value of lambda that we have and that gives you 100 hertz so that's uh, that's the that's the minimum frequency that is going to create a, stash, a stationary wave uh, when lambda by 4 is equal to 0 0.85 meters and remember stationary waves uh, stationary waves we can also use this other value 3 by 4 lambda uh, remember we discussed that 3, 3 by 4 lambda can also fit in this tube over here in 0.85 meters so we can uh, we can take that 3 by 4 lambda and 3 by 4 lambda that's going to be a different frequency because more wavelengths are actually fitting into this in this uh, in this tube over here it's equal to 0.85 meters let's make it equal to 0.85 meters the value of lambda that we are going to get is going to be it's going to be 0.85 multiplied by 4 divided by 3 and the answer comes out to be 1.133 uh, meters and uh, we can repeat the same this is the other wavelength that is also going to create a station wave we can do the same we can apply v is equal to lambda f uh, or f is equal to 340 divided by 1.1 and it's trailing 3 so this comes out to be equal to 300 hertz so as you can see from here uh, the first wave had only half a wavelength it was uh, so a quarter of a wavelength it was lambda by 4 it uh, uh, it started over here, anti-node reaches a node, comes back, that was the fir first wave and that had a frequency of 100 hertz. Then we shortened the wavelength, 3 by 4 lambda, now more waves uh, cycles were able to fit into this tube and we created the wavelength again, the sh wavelength was shorter, it was 3 times shorter and this time it was giving a frequency of 300 hertz. Now what you would notice is that uh, the smallest frequency is 100 hertz, the next one is 300 hertz so there is 200 hertz which is missing so the question was uh, which way would not produce a station wave in this pipe and that's the answer to that is going to be option b you can we are left with 500 hertz as well but what you can do is you can use uh, this third wave which had uh, five lambda by four cycles uh, fitting in this 0.85 meters you can try and calculate that 5 lambda by 4 would be equal to 0.85 meters you can find lambda then apply v0 lambda f to find the new frequency or the frequency of this particular wave and you would notice that that comes out to be 500 hertz so it's 200 hertz which is going to be missing